there was a bear with a beard and a bird in a bar drinking a beer. Let's look at the two words bear and beard. I agree, it does look like the word bear has just added a D onto the end. Well, it doesn't look like it, it's actually true. You are right. But is the pronunciation the same as the word bear but with a D? No, because if you add the word bear with D on the end, you end up with bed, which sounds similar to the word bird, but again, it's not the same. Take a look at the phonetics of the two words bear and beard. See how the symbols are different? Air and ear. Now it does confuse people, but the IPA phonetics are not that difficult to get your head around. Just try. There are a million sites out there where you can see them and learn them, and there's also a nice little app which is free for your phone. So we now know that the four letters B, E, A and R are pronounced differently in the words bear and beard. In the video I did about the x-factor mistakes, there was the homograph tear. Now is this pronounced tear, similar to bear, or is it pronounced tear, similar to beer? Well the answer I'm sure you know now is both. But homographs also cause a little bit of confusion also for us. Read the following four words. Is it in the present or in the past? Is it read or read? How do we know? Only from the context. So even we Brits make mistakes when reading words with homograph. If we see these four words and then we see the word yesterday after, we might say, I read this book, ah, I read this book yesterday. Let's look at a few more homographs. This one I love, bass. Hey, did you meet my boyfriend? He plays the bass. I get an image of the person's boyfriend strumming a fish. Bass is a fish and bass is the instrument. You wouldn't eat a bass guitar now, would you? Row, row, row. Row, row, row. Do I want you to argue or move your oars faster? Who knows? Well, we can tell from the pronunciation, of course. Row means to argue and row means to move your oars faster. Read the following sentences. I'm too close to the door to close it. As they were rowing, they were rowing. A tear rolled down her cheek as she saw him tear up her love letters. The dove dove into the water. So when a word has more than one definition, be careful. It's not enough to know the different definitions. You also need to know if the two different words have a different pronunciation. The following words are not homographs, but as you can see, each one has the four letters O-U-G-H in the same order. You saw them in the video I did previously about phonetics, but listen to the pronunciation again. Rough, though, bought, through, cough. Look back at the video to see the phonetics of those words. Now I need to wind up this video because I can hear a lot of wind outside and I need to go and save my plants.